Dick goddamn a fool and goddamn a blinking. Who would like you? Goddamn you. Excuse me for using such hard words with you. But you need it. You are nothing but a goddamn black nigger. Abraham Lincoln is being called a goddamn black nigger. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys an amazing book. These books I'm going to show you guys today are going to blow some of your minds, okay? Before I get started, I want you guys to remember that you can support this channel on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. Anything you guys donate to my channel, I'm going to use it to get more books so I can review more of our hidden history, okay? The true history of the Negroes, the Israelites, guys. That's what I'm going to be doing with any amount of money that you guys donate to my channel. So please go over right now and make a donation, okay? So let's get started with the video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just did some small research into this book, guys. It's called The Hidden Linking, okay? And this book says some strange things, guys, okay? It's strange to people who don't know real history, okay? But those of us who study history, who actually go beyond, you know, the movies and the documentaries on History Channel or BBC, we are not going to be so shocked by what some of these old books tell us, guys. Okay, so this book right here is called The Hidden Lincoln. From the letters and papers of William H. Herdon, okay? Um, I believe this book was published in the year 1940. Yes, you can see it right here. 19... One sec, let me get my fingers free. Uh, yes, 1940, an old book. So we're going to go to page 361. Let's see what this book says. Okay, so here we are on page 361, guys, okay? So, we're going to read a letter. Okay, this letter is from uh, a man named... Let me zoom in so we can get a closer look. From a man named Joss C. Richardson, okay? This is a statement that he apparently wrote. This copy was written in 1829. So, let's see what it says right here. Guys. Joss C. Richardson says, My father came to Spencer County, Indiana, in 1828. Linking... Abraham Lincoln guys was tall and raw boned at 18. So this is Lincoln at 18 years old. When 16 years of age, he, Lincoln, was six feet high. He was somewhat bony and raw. Look at what it says next guys. Dark skinned. He was quick and moved with energy. So let's just, let's just calm down. Let's calm down. Apparently, Abraham Lincoln, when 16 years of age, Abraham Lincoln, he was 6 feet tall, he was somewhat bony and raw, and then what else was he? He was dark skinned. Guys, I've told you several times, Caucasians are not a dark skinned people, okay? They're not. When you read these old books and you're reading about Caucasians, you will see descriptions like fair skinned pale skinned but what you're not gonna see is dark skinned caucasians that's not a thing guys okay that's not a thing these books are just for that proof that abraham lincoln is not that man that we are always shown on tv that man is standing for the real abraham lincoln who was indeed a dark skinned man okay caucasians are not dark skinned people they are fair or pale skinned that's it okay let's see another book guys i want you to see one more book that I found that has some pretty powerful uh, statements about Abraham Lincoln as well. Okay, so guys, so here we are on this book. It's called The Battles That Made Abraham Lincoln. This book is actually a recent book. So don't be shocked when you see these, uh, you know, the modern day um, depictions of uh, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, so this is a book, The Battles That Made Abraham Lincoln. So let's see what's inside this book. Okay, I want you to see some things that were said towards Lincoln. Okay, so let's start from right here. The president-elect would go through the motions the next day, speaking at the flag raising at Philadelphia's Independence Hall in the morning and making two more speeches in Harrisburg that afternoon. By the following day in Washington, in the wake of his secret night ride, after he was rushed to his suite at Willard Hotel, all the omissions and failures of the last 30 years would settle onto the shoulders of the man still nine days short 
of taking office okay so this is 1861 guys okay you can see it right here i should have read this part this is 1861 so lincoln died in 1865 so while reading right after he has won his first term in office guys that's what we are reading about right here okay i want you to see what some people were saying about lincoln guys very powerful now look at this guys i'm going to read this portion of the book okay i'm going to read from right here the same page page 129 look at what it says and in suite six at willard's okay lincoln would find on his desk a letter waiting for him and it reads listen to this look at what it reads guys remember first term in office if you don't resign we are going to put a spider in your dumpling and play the devil with you you god or mighty god damn son of a bitch i think that's the idea or what's it better go to hell and boss my ass suck my prick jesus and call my bollocks your uncle <laughs> okay i guess that's an insult from the past guy that's how people used to talk back in the day let's keep going dick god damn a fool and god damn a blinking who would like you god damn you excuse me for using such hard words with you but you need it you are nothing but a god damn black nigger did you catch that guys did you catch that okay so clearly the english back in the day is not as it is now in the modern times guys back in those days not everyone received an education like we have today guys okay only the very top class the the elites were allowed to get a full-on education so i don't think you should be shocked when you see a letter from the past that is written this way okay but here is the important point i want you to pay attention to guys look at what this guy calls abraham lincoln let me read from right here again call my bollocks your uncle dick goddamn a fool and goddamn abe lincoln who would like you goddamn you excuse me for using such hard words with you but you need it you are nothing but a goddamn black nigger abraham lincoln is being called a goddamn black nigger why he just won his first term in office guys okay he will eventually win his second term as well even though he dies five weeks into it but he just won his first term and then the people were angry at him they wrote letters and this is one of the letters where abraham lincoln is being called a goddamn black nigger that is powerful stuff guys don't ignore these clues it's a mistake to ignore these sort of clues guys they are telling you something hey all these clues are pointing that abraham lincoln was not a caucasian okay that image of him that we have that even this book i'm reading right here has at the beginning this this popular image this is not abraham lincoln abraham lincoln was a black man he was a dark-skinned man i've showed you a book before that describes him as being dark-skinned he was a black man not this pale-skinned caucasian this is not abraham lincoln this is the white supremacist uh stand-in for the actual man who was a dark-skinned black man so black that in a letter they called him a black nigger a goddamn black nigger okay keep that in mind guys keep that in mind very powerful stuff okay history the mysteries of history are are solvable by people who study the past okay if you're someone who just sits down in front of a tv and have the caucasian race just tell you what history is you will grow up to become a dumbass okay i'm gonna be honest with you okay there are so many highly educated dumbasses in society today yeah people with you know phds that think they know history but they don't know crap guys they don't know anything okay because they know the version of history that the caucasians want them to know they don't know the true history guys okay very powerful book definitely a book that you guys should check out if you haven't seen okay the battles that made abraham lincoln how lincoln mastered his enemies to win the civil war free the slaves and preserve the union okay it's a book by larry tag the book isn't very old but i highly recommend you check out these books guys okay there are so many strong clues of the true identity of so many people that we have been trained by our slave masters by our colonizers to believe are caucasians when in reality these men were negroes okay dark-skinned people okay powerful stuff guys